Hey guys, welcome back. Todd here with Hobby Link Japan, and it is time for another close up review of a new HG kit from Bandai. And seems like there's been a ton of the Build Divers stuff lately, but uh, finally we get something from a different series of a different Gundam series. And this is going back to Iron Blooded Orphans. So that show ran for two seasons and gosh it's uh, been it seems like it's been quite a while since we've gotten a kit and released at least in the HG line for the Iron Blooded Orphans there was one a little while ago just never got around to actually reviewing although I did build it but uh, yeah it's been quite dry as far as Iron Blooded Orphan kits goes but I mean that's just to be expected with the anime series being off the air so actually this kit here what we were looking at today is called the Gundam Hajiroboshi. So Hajiroboshi, if you watch that, uh, if you watched both seasons of the show, this kit will look quite new to you because yeah, this is something was not previously in the show. So this is, I had to look it up. So the, apparently this Hajiroboshi unit is from a, not even a side story manga or anything like that. This is from a, mobile game so apparently there is an iron-blooded orphans mobile game called Erder hunt i believe if i am pronouncing that cor correctly i don't know but uh yeah apparently this is just a mobile suit from that mobile game so quite interesting now there's something else if you're interested in the actual story of the iron-blooded orphans then you probably will remember that there were a total of 72 of the Gundam frame mobile suits that uh, were developed during the Calamity War is what they were is what they called it in that series so the Barbatos was uh, one of those 72 Gundam frames how and you would think being that this is a Gundam that it would be one of those 72 because I mean you got 72 of these frames out there so there's going to be a bunch of them hopefully hidden away somewhere. A lot of them, I guess, were actually destroyed during the war. A few of them survived, like the Barbatos and uh, some of the other ones, but... Uh, so the Hajiroboshi is not found in the list of the 72 Gundam frame mobile suits. So apparently, there are a number... Who knows? Maybe this is just a one-off oddity that, uh, for some reason, was not part of that seven group of 72 Gundam frame mobile suits. Maybe it was a prototype or what have you, but it was not one of those. So anyway, I thought that was an interesting little bit of trivia that they included on that uh, in the manual for instruction manual for this kit. It was not something that was mentioned at all in the wiki. So if online there's a whole bunch of wiki for all the different Gundam suits, but I didn't find that in the wiki, so only in that manual. But anyway, going back to actually talking about this kit. So just like the Barbatos, this the A runner for this kit is going to be your inner frame. That was one of the things I really enjoyed about the line of Iron Blooded Orphans HG kits is that you actually had that complete inner frame so you can completely build this unit without the armor and it would still have functioning arms and it would have functioning legs i i do believe i didn't actually try it but as if it's same as the other previous barbatos kits then that should be the case so that gives you that kind of quite nice inner detail for this kit as well and you can kind of see that kind of poking underneath all of the outside exterior armor you got that uh, dark gray colored plastic for the inner frame so that is something cool that was something i really always enjoyed from the iron blooded orphans line of hg kit so that's something that continues on for this kit so yeah that dave runner it had it dates back to the barbato so it was like four or five years old for that uh a runner but the rest of the armor pieces for this kit were completely new so you have a completely Everything else on the outside of this guy is quite new, and I gotta say, he looks quite spectacular as far as the Iron Blooded Orphan kits goes. Because one of the things I maybe didn't like so much about them, especially like the early Barbatos, was just that they all look kind of quite a bit anorexic. But uh, this guy, it just feels to me like he's got a little bit extra bulk to him. He's a bit bit chunkier a bit thicker just kind of looks that way to me of course he's got that really 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 tiny waist that continues over from the rest of the iron blooded orphans kind of lineup but other than that yeah i really kind of digging this bulky look to him 
Now, also because he has that same inner frame from the Barbatos, I don't. I'm not going to really go into articulation for this guy because it's going to be exactly the same as the Barbatos as every other Barbatos that uh, has been released years and years before, and it feels like that's just been covered to death. So we're only going to take really a look at what is completely new for this kit. And so yeah, you got a bunch of tiny bunch of new armor pieces that make it look great and. We had a hole that was this was fun to put on. You had this entire thing of stickers, so all these kind of little red, well, what have you, detail parts around the kit. Uh, well, you got the kneecap here. The kneecap was actually a plastic piece, but other than that, so you got these little, little tiny pieces of red here on the shield and up on the, the V fin and the shoulders, and so you, you got a number of stickers that you're going to be applying onto this kit so that's something you have to take care of when building it and he comes with a number of kind of cool weapons so just like the other iron blooded orphans kits that had a they used melee weapons for the most part this guy also has his own melee weapon and that is going to be the and they call it the smart mace so that's the unit that he has here let me go ahead and pull this off that's the weapon that he has sitting on his side here and they call it a smart mace i guess that's good you wouldn't want to fight with a dumb mace i guess so there you have it nice nice cool smart mace so that was another thing about the the hands he, he only comes with that one set of hands that he's equipped with right now so they're good for weapons because they're the closed fist type but they have the hole in the center so you can equip the weapons onto it but no kind of jazz hands or open hands or any of that stuff so this is a very very basic weapon here it was just yeah just two pieces of plastic i believe that were sandwiched together and that's all you have there for the smart mace but he does have some other weapons here and let's go ahead and pull this other one off of his belt here whoops and i'm going to pull off his entire torso with that weapon there ah all right so let's go ahead and snap this back in there and let's take a look at this next weapon of his and then this one is just going to be called a 110 millimeter short range rifle so not a very big rifle it's just a little short range rifle and you got a sticker there for that uh, kind of scope for the gun so kind of cool a little cool tiny very tiny weapon not very big at all but probably the coolest thing for this guy, the coolest kind of weapon or armor, is actually going to be his shield. So let's rotate him around here so we can take a look at the shield on his arm there. So this shield has a special name. It is called the Crab Shield. So what's special about this Crab Shield, you may ask. Let me go ahead and pop it off of his arm. So here we have the crab shield just sitting here by itself it kind of looks really cool you got that peg on the back where you can plug it into the side of his arm so you'll note here it has these kind of two yellow pieces here on the side and these things actually can flip down like so and give you that kind of cool little look so it's going to pinch on too i guess because it's a crab so it's got little pinchers it's going to be able to probably be able to use this to kind of grab hold of another enemy mobile suit and crush it with its little pinchers there and not only that not only can it grab onto a unit and crush it with those little pinchers there but you'll notice there's a little thing kind of poking out of the end of this shield here and if you were to take your fingers and pull it out here da -da -da -da, you've got this cool little drill bit so i guess he's going to be able to grab onto an enemy unit probably with the pinchers and then extend out that drill into the center of a unit that's going to really do some damage if he's going to get up close and if he's if he's able to use this to grab a hold onto anything so that's kind of a really cool weapon the coolest between the mace and the gun the shield is definitely the coolest of his kind of weapons there so not only is it a weapon but it's also a shield so he can use it to defend himself as well although it's not a very big shield i will say it's kind of a bit of a tiny shield but it looks cool and it has a thing that pops out and it's always fun to have these things that kind of pop out i thought these were kind of cool I'm not really exactly sure what they are probably just thrusters if i was to 
judge by just looking at the underside. I'm guessing this is where the jet gas is going to come out of, but it uh, looks kind of cool. These little wing type of thrusters, I'm guessing they are, on the back of his mobile, on the back of him, back of his suit there. So that is kind of quite cool. But yeah, so this is, I think this is a really cool looking suit and it's got that really nice looking shield, the mace and the gun, they're okay, I mean, it's nice to have them at least, it's better than nothing, but just by himself he's a rather decent and cool looking suit. So I don't know if any of you guys actually out there have actually played this, uh, this mobile game that this is based off of, leave a comment down below. I'm kind of curious, how is this game? Is it fun to play? Is it even translated into English or is it something that uh, is only available here in Japan? I do wonder. So that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this kit here. Yeah, if you're a fan of Iron Blood, our friends are the, you're a fan of this. If you know anything about this game, you'll definitely want to pick up this uh, Haji Roboshi, it's always fun to see the Iron Budded Orphans kits come back, even if it's not something based off of the series. I think we've actually probably got most of the mobile suits that uh, were from that series made into kits already when that series was fresh. I remember there was just a ton of the, there were a ton of those kits coming out, one like just about every other, every other week it seemed like, and they were having the 1-100 scale kits, so... Actually, come to think of that, besides that Master Grade Barbatos that came out, oh gosh, was that this year even? Earlier this year? Feels like it's been a while since I built it. Uh, we haven't seen anything from that uh, non-grade 1100 scale line of Iron Blooded Orphans kit, so I'm guessing that line is probably done for. If we ever see any other new kits from Iron Blooded Orphans, it's either going to be new Master Grades based off of that Barbatos frame, or it's going to be something in the HG line, so. But anyway, so yeah, pretty much that's all there is to this kit. So thank you very much for watching, and please be sure to stay tuned for more reviews in the future. I think the next thing that I personally will be taking a look at is going to be the, there's a new kind of one of those crazy little Haro things, that's a little Haro mobile worker type of unit. I think he's got wheels, so that one looked kind of quite cool. And then next month, just a few weeks away, we've got the the Master Grade Extreme Unicorn, which is coming, so that's quite exciting to see. So lots of cool stuff in the pipeline for the Gundam series and from Bandai Hobby. So Please be sure to stay tuned. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. All right, that's going to do it. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you again soon.